Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. We are checking out a new game today that was recommended to me. It is called Super Liminal. It's a puzzle game. I have no clue what we're in for. I thought we'd just hop in and see what's going on. We're going to click new game here. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent pending Somnusculpt technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnusculpt will make your dreams come true. All right, looks like we're calling 155 Somnusculpt today, and we're going to see what's going on here as we load in. Like I said, I have no clue what this game is going to be about. I've never heard of it, never seen any videos on it. Looks like we got basic controls here, W-A-S-D to move, and our mouse. Oh, okay. I thought we were looking at a piece of paper. Apparently, we are in a room. We got a couple speakers, uh, some lights above us, uh, fire alarm. Very nice. No doors. Oh. All right, now there wasn't a door there earlier, right? Uh, I know this game can be a little bit uh, mind-bending sometimes, but I think we're in for a bit of a surprise. Let's uh, let's walk over here and uh, grab this terms of service here. We're gonna go ahead and sign that. Can we read that? No, I can read terms, pricing, security deposit, cancellation keys and parking pass, use clinic betting arrangements and phone. However, that phone number is redacted, and it looks like we are 821 of 91. So that's like a year and a half before I was born. All right, well, let's uh, let's keep heading this way. I, I A little bit I know about this game. It's like perception. You know, things, things change. So that was room 208, so we should probably remember that. Um, all right, let's just head down this hallway here. Anything change on us? No, I don't think anything changed. All right, into this room. We got some chess pieces, it looks like underneath this lamp or yeah um perception is reality grab okay we're gonna grab this um okay so it's a small little guy oh now it's a big little guy oh i see okay so we're gonna have to be changing object size oh my god this thing's like massive now now can i like get it smaller there so i don't think i can get it much smaller than this unless i like walk it right up against the wall okay there we go <laughs> that's pretty cool um We'll just go ahead and we'll put this back here. Yeah, it's even smaller than we started. So let's see if I can put it up against the wall like this. And then, oh, it's still fairly large. Let's try, let's try this again. We're going to get it really small. Oh, it's still pretty big. Yeah, okay. So we, we know we can change the size of objects, it looks like, depending on our perception of the object. So there, now that guy's really small again. And then we're just going to put him right there. He's just gonna, is he floating? No, he's on the piece of paper. Okay, the shadow's just a little bit off. Anything change down this way? No, that's all the same. All right, shall we continue on? Oh, there's a big piece, uh, a rook there. We're just gonna walk forward with this and make him really, really small. Get him out of our way, space to jump. That's pretty standard. All right, and out we go. Oops, there's another camera down there. So before we go on any further, down in the comments below, let me know what you think's going on. Are we in Terms a dream? Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. All right, so like I was saying, just down in the comments below, let me, uh, let me know what you think's going to happen because I think this game's going to get pretty trippy pretty fast. All right, so... Hold right click to rotate. I am holding right click. Do I have to? There we go. Okay, so you got to click it and then right click to rotate it. Got it. So we got some um, cubes here, some blocks here, and we got some chess pieces with this chess board. We'll drop that. That's 08. Um, I guess let's start by making some of this stuff small. Yeah, we'll bring that down in size. Let's make this small. Uh, is it hiding behind one of these? I wonder if there's a door. No. Oh, there's the door. Okay. Uh, so it's up there. 
we'll put a box there and then let's get this box a little bit bigger all right here we go um no i didn't i want it to get bigger not smaller so if i'm approaching the wall it gets smaller there we go so i think i have to like keep doing there we go okay we're getting this so let's just bring this over here and let's see if we can get up there. Here we go. Oops. And there we go. And I jumped too much, but we made it in. All right. So I got to get my perception skills a little bit better. You would think as a dentist, I would know what I'm doing here. All right. No objects beyond this point at all times. So I'm guessing if we pick this up, um, yeah, we can't take it through with us. Okay. So there are some screens there that will prevent us from carrying blocks and things like that with us. That's okay. All right. In a big room again here, nothing too crazy. I'm assuming this is where our uh, people, our qualified specialists, are looking at us. But there is a, a block through the door here. Um, so I bet you we got to step here, grab that block, back up, and we're going to drop that. There we go. Okay. We're kicking butt on this puzzle so far. Got this table. I'm going to say, oh, now we probably have to grab the block again. And let's make that bigger. Um, no, hold on. I got to. I got to come to it. Here we go. Pick it up. Then I'm going to back up, but I don't want it too big. I got to be able to jump up on top of it initially. Uh, there we go. Okay. And then in through the hallway. Nice. All right. I'm getting this down. Can I pick up this box? No. What's this a box for? Uh, there's a lot of electric shocks on it. Some batteries on it or in it maybe. Um, confirm. confirm. You can, move, you can freely. move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Whoa. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. <laughs> okay, thank you. So we got a paint bucket here. Um, we can pick that up and let's just bring that with us. It looks like they painted that chess piece on there. Um, okay, can I do anything with the, the paint bucket? I don't think so. I don't see anything else to do here. Other than it was just painted on there in a very trippy fashion. All right, let's continue this way. So as we're walking through these hallways here, don't forget to leave me a comment on down below. Um, you know, what's going on in your life? Oops, okay, let's go ahead and pull this out. Um, and I'm guessing there's like a, a trigger or something over here. There we go. We're kicking butt and taking names. Yeah, as always, I want to hear about you guys, hear what you're doing. If you're new to the channel, say hi. I'd love to hear from you. We got some regulars so far. I, I enjoy talking to our regulars, but always want to talk to someone new. And if you are new, don't forget to like and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. All right, hold right click to rotate. Uh, so we, I'm guessing we have to turn this into a ramp of sorts. So we'll pick up this piece of cheese and where's the door there. So we're going to come here, make it really small and then just keep backing up to make that pretty big. Is there anything else we can pick up? Can't pick up that. Can't pick up that. Okay. Um, and we're going to come here again. We'll pick it up again and we're going to make it really big and let's just move it closer here. Still not quite where we need it to be. Let's back it up a little bit more again. All right, we're getting pretty big now. Let's see if we can, we'll drop it. I don't think I can make that jump. No, still not quite big enough. All right, let's make this ramp even, or bigger piece of cheese even bigger. Back up a little bit more again. Drop that there, even more. Oof, okay, and we're gonna put that right up there. Oh, did I shrink it? I shrunk it, okay. Let's make that bigger. This thing's massive now. Wowzers. Okay, I think we should be able to make this jump. Yep, there During we go. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. <laughs> Please complete the remaining orientation activities. All right. Thank you, SOP, or SOP, or Standard Operating Protocol Procedure, or whatever your name was. Oh, we got a big block there. Uh, not much going on over here. Um, and we got to make it small. So we got to make it small and probably put it on that switch there. So let's make it super small. Um, interesting. We can move these boards away. I'm guessing we're not supposed to go that way, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's go that way. Shall we? Can we take all these boards off? We can boop, 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 boop. Okay. And let's see what's going down the scary dark hallway. Dream soda. 
Okay, I can't interact with anything here. Uh, we can get... Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. No, I want my soda. We got red, we got green, um... So smooth, and I can't quite read that last word. And then we got green, made with real. What's that say? Percocet? I can't read that other one. Uh, random soda with a bunch of question marks, baking, mini, and water soda. Let's go random soda and see what happens here. So we got our can of random soda. Let's take that with us here. And, okay, we got our big can. Can I shake it up? Let's see if we can shake it up. And we're going to drop it there. And can I open it? No, I can't. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty big. Let's get that nice and small. I wonder if there's something we're supposed to do with this can of soda. Was there like a... Uh, what's that? I can't tell what that is. Let me know in the comments down below if there's something I'm supposed to do with that can of soda. I don't... Can I get multiple sodas? Ooh, the machine does not seem to like that. Alright, well, we only get one soda. Um... All right, let's see if something happened out here now that we clicked on that again. Our can is still there. Let's put the can on the switch. Maybe that does something a little different. Um, put that there. Yeah, let's get it up there. There we go. It rolls. Is it going to roll through? It's keeping the door open. we got to go quickly. All right. We got through this door. Uh, and let's continue through. we got a broken window. That's probably not good. A lot of shards of glass. Um, I can see a switch down there, so let's get our block, ooh, something just pushed me, or was that me? That might have been just me. Yeah, that might have been me. All right, so let's get this block here, bring that through, and then we're going to make it small, make it small again, and then we'll go down, ooh, um, let's see, super small there. Can I throw it? I can't quite get it through that broken glass. Let's do that and then try again. Nope. All right, can I get it through there now? What am I doing wrong here, folks? I don't want it there. Can I like drop it from, do I like drop it way up here? Is there another switch I'm missing? That's clearly our switch, right? Like, how do I, hmm. Well, this is embarrassing. I'm not getting it right away. Uh, let's see. Is there something else over here I'm missing? No. That's all that. Well, I know what I need to do. Do I have to rotate it, maybe? Let's try rotating it and then dropping. Or do I have to, like, throw it? I wonder if I have to throw it. Let's try that. No. It's hitting the... I can't quite get it through the window. Ha! Man, it doesn't want to go. What the heck? All right, when I right click, there we go, finally. I don't know why that took so long. Ah, uh, okay. Through this All door here. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Let's see, 1991, what would we want a gift card for? I don't know. Walmart, maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, let's look through here. There's the switch. We can't go this way because it'll click out. So we probably got to grab it. Can we grab it through the door and bring it over? Let's try that. Let's do this. I don't think we can. I think it'll freak out. Yeah, we can't do that. So we probably got to kind of throw it over the top. Um, so let's drop it from there. Boom. Okay. That one was a lot easier than that last one. All right. And through the puzzle. All right. No items. Video surveillance. People without items beyond this point will be fine. Wait. Without items? No items. People without items beyond this point will be... Oh, will be fine. I get it. I get it. Funded by Mothers Against Items. M-A-I. Uh, let's see. Warning. People beyond this point will be object with objects will be fined. Suspension of dream license up to one year. Fines from one lost night of sleep to four. Uh, be smart. Thank you for not objecting. 
uh, report abuse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. All right, and we continue on down the hallway. Uh, we got a chess piece there and some interesting artwork. And let's see, okay, down the, oops, nope. Down here, we got the same thing. And I just, okay, hold on. Yeah, okay, so we, that spins you around like that. We're getting a little trippy here, boys and girls. So let's see, if I come this way, it puts me out through the blue door. So if I go through this door, it puts me out the door with the red on the insides. I got that, okay. There's something I need to grab. Can I grab anything? That's showing the apples, okay. And that's showing that. Okay, got that, I got that. We're, I understand what's going on. Um, camera there, here's the door. Um, so that was just like a weird loop, I guess? I don't, I don't know. Um, let's just drop down. And we got a couple switches here. So that opened that door there. And then I bet you this opens this door here. Now, is there anything we can grab? No, we can't grab anything. Um, was I supposed to grab something up there? Can I jump? No, I can't do that. Can I grab the sign? Ah, okay, so let's, we'll put the sign on this switch. That'll open this door. So then we probably go through here. Is there another sign we can grab? No. Um, so we need to get the sign from the switch back so we can open that door. But the second I, I can't grab it through this door, is there something, is there a light? Um, or that or do I have to make the sign just massive and it hits both switches? Let's try that. No, I need to make it massive. Back up, Andrew. All right, let's do that. Ooh, I just said my name. You guys know my first name now. Let's see if anyone catches that. We'll back up again here. And then we should be able to, to rotate it here. All right, and then let's, oops, this might be too big at this point. All right, and we'll keep backing up. Ooh, that's really big now. And back up one last time. All right, and then let's, nope, I just made it small. I just messed up. All right, let's pick it up and rotate it. Let's see if it's long enough. It's gonna fall down. Um, I see, I keep making it, that's not what I want, game. All right, let's do this and then drop it there. So it's only hitting, ah. All right, and then we'll pick it up, rotate it a little bit. It's still not quite as big as I want. All right, back up even more. All right, and then we'll get right on top of it. Ah. This is harder than it looks, guys. I am not very good at this, apparently. See, and whenever I pick it up, it just gets super small. So I think if I want it to stay big, I gotta stand back, right? But then how can I bring it up without changing its size? Do I have to, like, keep it, like, right here, maybe, where I can't change the perception? Or do I have to make it big and drop it? All right, and then let's drop it there. Okay, we got both, but it might be blocking the door. We're gonna find out here in a second. Um, no, okay, it rolled off and both doors are open. Nice. I am not very good at this. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. Yay. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Okay, I will proceed through the final doorway. Um, can I come back this way? No, okay. This wall seems out of place. Oh wait, we got a crack here. Let's see, exit. I can grab the exit sign. We're gonna pull the exit sign through. Can I grab the piece of cheese or whatever that is? We can, we'll pull the piece of cheese through. Um, can I grab anything else? There's some pallets there, uh, a dark hallway. I can't see much else. Let's um, put the cheese there. Can I use the wedge to get anywhere? I don't see anything. I wonder, ooh, I wonder if I could wedge this open. Okay, um, now, we're, now we're thinking, Lincoln. Uh, let's rotate this a little bit here and drop that there. Can I like, let's see here, pick it up. Can I wedge it in there? Like literally wedge it in there? And then let's, let's pick it up again and then we're gonna keep making it big. Um, oh wait, this broke. Can I like push this over or anything? 
No. I don't think I can like use it to wedge these doors open. Or I'm just not very good at it. Yeah, I don't think I'm very good at it. So let's just... Yeah, see, I can't... It just kind of pops out. Okay, so I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. Well, maybe it is, because this is a, a brick wall. Do I need to knock this down, maybe? Is there something through here I can grab? Um, let's just try hitting it. Can I get up and over? No, that's not it. Um, it's got to be like some sort of like wedging action to wedge this wall open. It's got to be, and I'm just not doing it very well. Story of my life. I don't do anything very well. All right, and then let's try this again. See, that's just not not doing what I want it to do. See, and it just shrinks. It won't... Hmm. Can I hit... Can I like climb up maybe? Okay, that wall is a little more loose. So maybe it's supposed to be this wall. Can I like jump and hit it or something? Ugh. Let's try it. Let's try it here. Alright, there's gotta be. What am I doing wrong? Do da. Alright, let's try this again. Right? I'm seeing this wall move, right guys? I'm not that crazy. That's right, I gotta stay back. Stay back. Alright, let's do that again. Nope. Let's do... There it goes. Okay, I knew something had to fall over. Jeez. It was that one. That took longer than it should have. So hopefully you guys are okay with me taking longer on these puzzles than some of those speedrunners. Um, Oh, this one would have moved too. Oh, all these walls would have moved. Ah, okay, that's fine. We made it through. Nothing in the dumpsters to see. We are in the back area, the behind rooms. Anything in the barrel? Nope. Or the bucket. Got a dolly there. Let's go check uh, over here. This is all still the same room. We got an electric panel here. We won't do anything with that. All right, some extra walls. Nothing back there. Nothing we can interact with. And let's uh, let's head this way down this creepy hallway again. Got the save symbol showing up. Nice drink there. Uh, we can't use the phone. Uh, oh, whoa. Okay, I didn't even see that. I guess we're just falling into our bed and boom, loading. Wowzers. Okay. Let's load in here. We're waking up, it sounds like. And I think this might be a good spot to end our first video of Subliminal. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Let me know how big of a ding-dong I am, because apparently I have no clue what I'm doing on those puzzles. I was really struggling with that last one. But if you did enjoy me struggling, don't forget to like and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for coming out today, and we'll see you in the next Subliminal video.